Your new phone didn't come with a charger, so you run out and buy one from some other brand that says it supports fast charging. But did you know there's a good chance that it won't work properly? Because the folks that make our phones, tablets, and laptops haven't agreed on one fast charging standard, your device might charge more slowly than it ought to. So today, we're gonna tell you how to make sure you've got the right charger and cord iPhone and Google Pixel owners will wanna pay attention to this first one, USB Power Delivery or USB PD for short. As the name implies, USB PD is actually part of the official USB specification and some manufacturers have kept things simple by just using USB PD instead of some kind of proprietary fast charging scheme. But that doesn't mean that all phones use USB PD the same way. For example, the iPhone 12 Pro Max can pull about 22 watts while charging, but the 13 Pro Max pulls about 27. More watts means faster charging, so check your phone's peak wattage, then buy a charger that provides at least that much power. Just make sure that it's USB PD certified, or you might not get the extra speed. The good news here, though, is that any certified charger providing enough wattage should work, so you don't have to buy an official one from Apple or Google, and instead can score yourself a sweet deal on a third-party charger. Oh, and don't forget about the cable itself. A modern, made-to-spec USB-C to USB-C cable should carry at least 60 watts. But again, double-check to ensure it actually meets that USB PD standard. USB PD also supports up to 100 watts for larger devices like laptops, and a 240 watt variant is on the way soon. So it's a great one charger to rule them all solution if you have compatible devices across different brands. Qualcomm's Quick Charge is the next fast charging standard we're gonna talk about. And despite the fact that the San Diego Chargers no longer play at Qualcomm Stadio in a brutal twist of irony, Quick Charge is still a very widespread protocol used in phones from Samsung, Razer, Asus, Sony, Nokia, and LG, if you're still rocking one of those collectibles. But just how good is Quick Charge? We're gonna tell you right after we thank Govi for sponsoring today's video. Govi's Immersion Kit combines their LED TV backlights with two smart light bars for full reactive ambient lightings. Its color sense camera intelligently recognizes and captures the colors on your TV and automatically applies them to your backlights. And it offers multiple control options, including Google Assistant and Amazon AliExa support. Click the link in the video description and grab your Govi Immersion Kit today. So Quick Charge is a bit faster than USB PD, but it is proprietary. Still, versions four and newer are compatible with USB PD, though you won't get as much speed if you use a Quick Charge 4, 4 Plus, or 5 phone with a USB PD only charger due to the extra secret sauce from Qualcomm. However, you shouldn't need a super special cable as even the newest versions of Quick Charge are supposed to work with a regular three amp USB-C cable. Qualcomm has promised that you can get a 50% charge on your phone in only five minutes with Quick Charge 5. And although that will obviously depend on battery size, it's really impressive, especially since Quick Charge has a reputation for running a little cooler than some of its competitors. But what if you want to go even faster? One of the quickest standards out there right now is Warp Charge from OnePlus, formerly known as Dash Charge. Now there's no chance that you'll find it on a non OnePlus device as it's a strictly proprietary standard and you will need a compatible charger as well as a special cord. But the upside to all this special equipment is that Warp Charge is fast. It gives the flagship OnePlus 9 Pro and its 4,500 milliamp hour battery a full charge from zero in just about half an hour. And if that's not fast enough, OnePlus's parent company, Oppo, has another charging standard called SuperVOOC, though there's no word on when that might be available outside of China. Of course, we'd be remiss though if we didn't also mention Samsung and Motorola's in-house solutions. Samsung's are called Adaptive Fast Charging and the newer Super Fast Charging and are only for Galaxy devices. The former maxes out at 18 watts and the latter is at 45 watts, so it's quick, but with the way it's currently implemented, it's not gonna give the full 60 plus watts that USB PD would, even though super fast charging is compatible with the USB PD standard. If you want the highest speed super fast charging has to offer, you'll need a certified charger and a cable as it uses a relatively high five amps of current. On the Motorola side, they use a solution called Turbo Power, 
While it's not as fast as some of the other standards we've mentioned, the good news is that it's actually a variant of Quick Charge 3.0. For low wattage turbo power devices, any adapter that supports Quick Charge 3.0 should give you full performance. Though if you're using the higher wattage versions, make sure you've got a charger that supports Quick Charge 4 Plus or higher. Hopefully now you'll have a better idea of what you'll need to keep your phone powered up in a pinch, or you can just disregard everything I said and stop forgetting to plug it in before you go to sleep because then you wouldn't need to quick charge. Thanks for watching, like, dislike, check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe and follow.